Welcome back to another EX production as we dive deeper into our village of support, music. Music is such an integral piece to telling a story. It helps to shape and stir the emotions of the scenes. Today, we want you to meet. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dee. And I'm Andrea. And we're Creative, Creative Nation, Nation music. music. The music composers and supervisors of the Breakout series journey with us as we share the story of Creative Nation Music. So yeah, we've been married for uh, eight years and we've been running the company for around Probably about, eight, about years. eight years. Yeah, so um, it's been a really great experience, man. It's nothing like working with your spouse, especially when you guys are on the same page and you want to do the same things. And so we, um, we, the, our process is basically we just bounce ideas off of each other, and, and that doesn't um, doesn't always go great. You know, what I mean, we are, we don't always agree on everything. Um, a lot of times I'm the one that's putting, you know, the music together and stuff and she'll come in and be like, oh, I don't like that chord or I don't like that beat or it's too fast or it's too slow. And so, of course, I have to change it. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not always, a, you know, a, a, a pretty, pretty sight in the studio. But uh, it, at the end of the day, it works out pretty good. Yeah, overall, the creative process with working with the person that you love is actually um, a lot easier sometimes because yeah. then you get that feedback and you get that support that right. you need and you're able to really bounce off of each other yeah. so yeah. I think that um, us working together is really one of the highlights of our marriage and I think that's yeah. what makes uh, Creative Nation really uh, successful mm -hmm. we've been able to um, do a lot of different projects and we've been really blessed to um, do a lot of different things together yeah, absolutely. And we're just, like she said, we're really blessed to, uh, we, we didn't have a blueprint for doing all of this. Um, God just gave us a vision and we kind of stumbled around in the dark. Uh, and next thing you know, you know, God opened door after door after door. Uh, now we have uh, music on major film, uh, major networks, television, Netflix, you know, stuff like that. So God has definitely been moving uh in in this business venture and uh we really can't wait to see what's next for us so be on the lookout so our experience working on this project was really unique um, being that we all live in different places it's amazing how this project has come together with so many people from all over the country and I think some from abroad so we first received the script and we just read through the script and get a feel of how the characters are feeling and kind of the mood and really trying to keep the continuity of the the city of release from episode to episode right. so when we get the the episode we just read the script and start thinking bouncing off ideas from each other and start thinking of where we want to go yeah. with the music and then that's when I basically give him a few ideas and then he runs with it yeah I mean it's it's definitely a joint venture how we do it um, it definitely begins with the script because you want to embody you have to get to know your characters and so um, once you get to know the characters and their their experience, you could then go forward with making, you know, themes uh, for each character or just kind of like a blanket theme for the entire show, which we started with. We actually started with the theme and um, it, it, it was kind of like kind of mixed between like kind of like a hip hopper. Like, like back in the day, like the soap opera or whatever we thought about, like I always been intrigued with the sound of like, you know, days of our lives and you know, stuff like that. So I kind of drew from that place of coming up with the theme and we kind of looked at each other and was like, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so we started from there and then next thing you know, we just kind of drew from, like we, we both listen to, you know, hip hop growing up, we both love jazz. Mm -hmm. Uh, we both love gospel and stuff like that, so we're trying to intertwine like all these different worlds uh, yeah. to to put this whole you know soundtrack together. 
So, um, you know, we, we hope everybody, you know, is feeling it and enjoying it and everything like that. But that's that's the world that, you know, we came from the school of thought putting together the music for it. I'm really proud of the writers uh, coming together for this story because it's so um, phenomenal. I think they do a really good job interweaving in, and just starting off with the first few episodes that were joy centric. Right. She it, she was such a um, a real character. She just yes. seems like a person that you could relate to. What she was going through, feelings of inadequacy and uh, self esteem, and you know trying to please everybody and trying to become stand out amongst her peers you know we, we really really did uh, fall in love with that character and you can hear it through the music because we came up with a song that we call joy's theme yeah, and if you yeah. go back every time that she's having like a reflective or introspective moment there's a certain song that's there and as she's growing that song becomes a little more triumphant throughout her storyline ow you look amazing. Well, this is certainly not the end of your transformation. There is one more step in positioning yourself to be made over. And I'll return you back. Just five, just five, just five. Look at you. Extremely bothered. Well then, don't let the sun go down on your day. Too many important people here for you to sabotage the reputation. And um, so again, you know, we try to embody like each character and give them kind of a theme. Songs of Joy's theme was kind of like uh, embedded in um, kind of her emotions of trying to find herself, her going through the abuse that she she, she did when she was a child. And um, of course, like in, in the end, her coming to this, this great, her relationship with the Lord and her coming full circle of becoming a woman you know that that we saw in that uh in that episode it was beautiful to see it was like a yeah. like a you know a butterfly coming out of his cocoon or whatever <laughs> and um i mean it was you know we tried to embody that in the music you know like following her journey yeah from the beginning to uh all the way back from episode one um to when she again came out and did the fashion yeah, show the fashion show and uh she was like you know i am joy you know what i mean yeah so and then you have characters like captive right who was more of a confident almost like a sexy character and then you can hear that in yeah. her music is a lot more aggressive it's more yeah. hip-hop and um now that the story is unfolding with her and Alicia, the music is is kind of changing right, right. a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely morphed into um, I would say more of a hip hop since the introduction of Captive's character. So we went a little bit more hip hop, uh, you know, a nod to hip hop a little bit more in the later uh, episodes, and then um, also Nathan introducing going to uh, Love Affair. Oh, yes. Um, so you'll hear a lot more like you Neo know, Soul, kinda. Neo Soul kind of vibes, um, you know, little jazzy Neo Soul kind of sounds in there, um, to introduce, you know, Nathan and Alicia's character. You don't always have to be so strong. You can let me bear the weight of the things that cause pain in your life. Look, you can absolutely trust me with your uh, kind of meeting and coming it's together. Okay. Yeah, and that's so, actually some of my favorite music in the in the show right now is yeah is the Nathan and Alicia inspired music. Right, right. Yeah, they have a sweet story, and it's it's what we all dreamed of. And thank God I was able to actually live my 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 fairy tale, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a really it's a sweet story, and I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with Nathan and Alicia. Yeah, absolutely, it's gonna be real cool. And there you have it. Be sure to follow Creative Nation Music on their Facebook page. Also, grab the latest music project, God's Peace. It's available where all music can be purchased. Thanks, and we will be speaking with you very soon.